What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, it's whatever here. I'm going to do the draft analysis for the PWC D League Season 3. Uh, uh, still in the D League. It's my third season in the D League. Or is it Season 2? I don't know. Uh, but I'm still in the D League, so we're definitely going to try to change that, hopefully. Uh, but we probably won't because I'm back. So I have the fourth or fifth pick. And I've always wanted to try this spawn. It is always a great, uh, usually in the top of the MVP boards, and it's great in OU. So I decided I would try out Lando T. Now, obviously, Lando T is amazing. It does so many roles that it can do. It can do defensive, it can do scarf, it can do band, it can do Z move, dual dance. Pretty much, it could do a lot, and this was really just, I wanted to try out this one, um, knock off, U-turn support, it just does so much with one pick, it, uh, is basically my, uh, my staple mod, uh, I thought, I've seen it done so well many other times, uh, I might as well try it. Then, with my second pick, I got Infernape, and Infernape is basically going to be my free pick. This is a GBA style draft, so it's going to have points and all that. But uh, Infernape was my second round. I thought I needed a fast Pokemon because Lando still is under base 90 or under base 100. So I thought I wanted to get something over base 100 to still deal with that, and I thought. Usually fire types are hard to come by, so I would get mine early, and I would get one that's very versatile. Uh, I have never used Infernape before, but this season I think I've definitely done more than I thought I would. It has so many ways to set up, Nasty Plot and Sword Dance. It could be a fast taunter, Will-O-Wisp user. It could be bulky with slack off, like I don't... I don't know if I'll ever use that, but, like, it could. Um, but there's just so many things that this thing can do. It gets Grass Knot, Gunshot Shot to help with mods that might switch in on it. It just has so many options with 104, 104, and 108 speed. I thought it was just my perfect pick for them. Then my next pick is going to be something that kind of helps my defensive core. Um, now Lando could be running defensive, and then basically I need something else to pair with that. So I got Milotic. Now Milotic is amazing. I think it's one of the top five waters in the format. Um, just because it can be ran bulky either way. Now you might look at 79 defense and think, uh, maybe not the best, but Marvel scale is a boost uh, 1.5 times defense. Now that, with the Flame Orb, is going to give us a quick 1.5 times boost. You put a little investment in that. And with the Flame uh, Burn being only 6% now, it definitely doesn't take off as much as it could. It did in the previous generation. So we got a little bit of a buff just in this set. Now, another thing is Coil. It can be set up. It stops opposing setup with Haze and Dragon Tail. It hits hard enough to like break subs with the base 100 attack. Um, Scald is Scald, so it's amazing. Uh, it can recover. It can magic coat stuff back. Um, and it, it's just usually just sitting there and wearing things out, recovering, burning things, recovering. And that sort of stuff. Now, the next pick that I had was I needed a cleric because I wanted to kind of have a bulkier uh, draft with about three or four mons that, are, that were offensive. So I really wanted the cleric that I needed, uh, and I also wanted a good fairy type, and so I got Sylveon. Now, Sylveon's never going to use Q-Charm. It's always going to use Pixelate. 
That's because Hyper Voice coming from a base 110 attack is with the Pixelate boost, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. I've ran this Scarf, I've ran this uh, Salt Vest, I've ran this Life Orb, I've ran the Leftovers. It could be offensive, it could be defensive, and Baton Pass is probably one of my favorite moves in the game. Um, whenever you have a, you predict an opponent to come in with a matchup, you could just Baton Pass out of that. It'd be, it's just one of the best things, uh, in my opinion, that gives Sylveon a little bit of an edge over other fairies. Um, so, along with Wish and Heal Bell, it can also uh, hit opposing poison types with Psy Shock, just in case they want to come in on it. Um, there's also, I know there is a physical set with Giga Impact and all that stuff. Um, if it's Psych Up, it also gets uh, Missy Terrain. So if ever I'm fearing any status, I could always use that, uh, which I do think I used once this season. Um, and then my next pick was Chestnut. I wanted a bulky defensive pick. Um, as of right now, my team did not really deal with, um, I believe, ground types, because I was going to pick, I uh, picked later. My Mega, which was weak to ground, spoiler alert, um, but it was, I wanted a grass type that was very defensive, and uh, Chestnut was that for me. Uh, I love this mod. It's one of my mods that I've used in many leagues. Uh, I love it just because of the, all the things it could do. I love the Leech Seed, I love the Spikes, Spiky Shield is so fun. Um, it also gets a lot of setup options that a lot of people don't really realize. Um, so it could use all these moves with the high attack stat of 107. For being a bulky mon, it's still going to hit hard. Now, this thing is just pretty much my physical wall. It is there to just sponge hits, leech seed back up, which also gives recovery back to Sylveon or Milotic if I needed to. And it just really helped a lot. Now, this is a pre Ultra Sun and Moon, so at this point I didn't have any defoggers or any removal. So my next pick was Golbat. And I needed to have a defogger, and I think Golbat is probably one of the best. It also gets Infiltrator if you want to go a little bit more offensive. But Defog, it's really good at it. Its stats may not be the best, but it's typing along with a Violet, uh, make it pretty last pretty long, especially with Roost. Um, you could even do Nasty Plot sets, Tailwind sets to help up your other Pokemon. Then there's also like U-Turn and Heat Wave. It's just Brave Bird. It hits, it hits pretty hard with Brave Bird, even though it doesn't have a too good of an attacking set, just because of how good Brave Bird is in general. But it was really just there as kind of um, just a defogger. I also needed a fast taunter, uh, which I do get another. I also wanted to get another ground resist at this point, too, or immunity. And then, so my next pick is I have three Pokemon that are weak to psychic, so I need to stop that in some way. So I picked up Greninja. Now this is going to be obviously Torn Greninja. Uh, Protean would be just so good. But Greninja has probably one of the best, best move pools just ever. It, it's so good. It has, it can hit so many things. Um, so Dark Pulse is just a great spammable move. We can do Gunk Shot for the Fairies. Rock Slide for the Volcarona, Toxic Spikes, or Regular Spikes. There's just so many things that Greninja can do. Now, usually it's going to be really offensive, just because it can hit things hard, and Dark types are very hard to switch into. Um, and also, Greninja can beat opposing uh, 
dark types with fighting type coverage, or the fairies with gunshot. It can also come in with extrasensory or the fighting types. It's just such a hard mod to switch into, and with base 122 speed, it's going to be outspeeding a lot. Um, it gives me something that's over Infernape and Landers, who are my two fastest things right now. Um, and with 95 base attack, it could still go physical move pool if it really wanted to. Um, and it has the move pool to do so. Um, and this is going to be one of my Z users, as well as Infernape. And Landris this is my third Z move user, and it's it ends up being really fun to use Reninja. I've used it a few times before, and I love its shiny, which is one of the coolest shinies I think, like ever. Um, so under my next pick, I needed a Steel type. I had a Fairy type, and I wanted a Steel type because I didn't want to get kind of like a some cores going. So I got Bronzong. Now, Bronzong has Levitate and Heatproof, two really good immune uh, abilities that help its uh, weaknesses. Now, Bronzong has great defenses, mediocre HP, but max max, that definitely helps with that. Its move pool is pretty solid. It has its two stabs. It can go either physical or special because its attacks are not really to differ too much to like make a difference really but i needed another stealth rock user and i thought this was a really good just wall pokemon um on, along with sylveon it really helps create this kind of core that i was going for of just standing in front of you and just taking hits and not really dishing too much back although these two are can definitely dish something back Bronzong has actually gotten a few kills in uh, quite a few games. It's actually in the MVP for uh, running for one of my MVPs, uh, and I just love it. It's it's been so good for me. It has helped so much in many different things. Another thing that I have uh, found is it could run Trick Room, and Trick Room helps because as you can see, a lot of my Pokemon are not fastest other than Greninja and Infernape which are over base 100 speed and only I, those are my only two so literally not too fast a team but with Trick Room that could definitely help that um the next Pokemon I dropped in was one of my favorite Pokemon Piloswine Piloswine the God he is Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon when I first started drafting. I always found it as a discount ice type or discount ground type. And those two types are amazing. Everyone knows about Mammo. Mammo can destroy teams incredibly well. Um, but probably the one thing that happened was when I was first drafting one of my first leagues, losing against actually an Infernape, Choice Locked into Flare Blitz. Now, it was Choice Locked... And it was Flare Blitzing, and against a pile of swine with thick fat, it did like 25. And that was crazy to me, just how bulky this thing could be. Now, granted, that was into a thick fat. It definitely should have been locked into close combat, but it was already hitting something else. It's just pile of swine is awesome. Uh, Ice Shard user, really good with base 100 attack. is still pretty good. Uh, it also gives me more priority, uh, gives me another Stealth Rock user, and just another another wall to kind of put in front of people. And again, with Sylveon helping it with recovery, uh, it just really helps the uh, the core going on here. Now, next, I picked my Mega, and my Mega, I already kind of used a lot of my points by getting uh, Greninja, and Sylveon, that's a tier 1, a tier 2, Bronzong's a tier 3, so I really needed some points. So I got a Mega Ampharos. Now, Mega Ampharos I've never used before, but with one, base 165 a special attack, it definitely can hurt. Mold is really cool, but unfortunately, Mega Ampharos can't really do too much with it. Uh, cool thing is, static before it Mega Evolves, so if you predict a U-turn or something like that, you could definitely... 
try that stuff out. Um, I have seen uh, Con Guard, uh, Mega Ampharos, Agility Mega Ampharos, Dragon Pulse hits extremely hard, Power Jam hurts, pretty much any hidden power it would hurt from this attack stat, and it's also bulky enough to just take hits and then just hit something back. And with Frog Zong's Trick Room, we could definitely make this into a solid sweeper. Um, a slow Volt Switcher is also one of the main things I got Ampharos for. Now, basically, I have my fast, frail attackers. Uh, Landers, you know, not so frail, not so fast, kind of in between. But with a slow Volt Switch, I can get those in after Ampharos takes a hit. And then I could scare stuff out with Infernape or Greninja. Now, this thing also kind of completes my uh, Dragon Fairy Steel Core. And I think it is a great defensive Fairy Dragon Steel Core. While I have a very offensive uh, Fire Water Grass Core, which I just realized is all three starters. Um, but yeah, it also gives me a Flying Resist, which helps a lot with my... Uh, flying type weaknesses it also is just an am un amazingly cool looking mod like fabio is really cool i don't like it trying to go but it is really good hits hard with fire punch focus blast like its attack is 95 so if you want to invest a little bit in that it could definitely hit some stuff kind of that you wouldn't really uh see too often but uh, yeah and then i have my last pick which is even better than Tyloswine, the one and only god, Pukumuku. Now, Pukumuku is incredible. Um, actually, wait, I don't believe Greninja, I believe it's Greninja Landris are my two Z-movers. Um, Infernape, I thought usually I would like either a choice item, a life or something else. And Pukumuku is my last Z-move user. And that is because in this league, Dark Z and Memento is allowed. So, I thought this would be a perfect Z Memento user to bring back one of my walls that have kind of been worn down or anything like that. It also gets the Taunt Pass, which I love. It's a screen user, Toxics, it, it protects, pains, uh, recovers, Counter, which I thought is really cool. Um, it could psych up and then baton pass those stats away. It could also, um, run curse. And curse with, uh, normalium Z makes it so it, it drops the negative effects of the minus one speed. Um, so unaware, you could definitely take advantage of that. I also love innards out. I think it's such a cool ability, and I even used it uh, to kind of bait a Tapu Koko back when uh, Sun and Moon came out. This was one of the few mons that I used, and I just used it as a kind of a suicide lead with innards out. And it really, it was just a lot of fun just seeing uh, your HP go down and then their HP go down. It, also, it was just pretty much a meme pick. It was tier 5. I thought that the Z Memento Z Curse also could uh, help a little bit. Um, the Toxic and uh, that support also as well. And that is going to be my draft. So uh, I have Lando T, Infernape, Melodic, Sylveon, Chestnut, Golbat, Greninja, Bronzong, Piloswine, Mega Ampharos, and Pukumuku. Um, I will probably upload the matches for these games and a little bit of a team builder um just when i can this is pretty much the start of all this but definitely definitely looks uh, like a really fun team and i think i'm a very fun time this season hopefully we can get to the mainly next season all right guys everyone have a good day bye